America's capital here in Washington, D.C. And boy, one of the marquee franchises of the last 20 years. Let's see what they've got in store tonight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Avs get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. And they'll dump it in. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Can't pull the trigger. And he takes the dish. All alone! But he can't pull the trigger on the play. Uh, because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate and gets nothing for it. Think he'd like that one back. Moves into the slot. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And there's the save. Into the offensive zone. Fires it. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. The Capitals take it along the wing. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Taves plays it now. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Great pressure on the offensive end by Tatar. Washington's got the puck along the boards. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Great save by Georgiev. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Colorado's gained the line and into the zone. Receives the pass. Oh, a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Through pass ahead. Sends it into the offensive zone. McCars moving the puck through his own zone. Colorado's got it along the wall. Here's a chance. Flushes the leather. What a save by Kemper. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. The Avs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Denied by the defender. And that's blocked from someone in front. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Manson. Angles it over to Byram. Here's a shot. Oh, he got huddled by Kemper. Does it again with the stop. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Denies him with the save. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Sends it quickly to Johnson. And that's off a stick. And he's ridden off the puck. Sends the cross ice pass. Dumps it in. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. The Avs got to work on offense. The Capitals gain possession along the wall. Washington's regained possession of the puck. Moves it to Protus. The Capitals take it along the wall. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Oh, big time save by Georgiev. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And there's a hit with a little violence. There's a hit on the play. Play. He makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Taken along the wall by Mantha. Puck picked up by Strom. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Down the right side and into the zone. Center key! And that's stopped! Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. 
Kemper's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Johansson's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Washington's moving it into the offensive end. Turned aside with a glove by Georgiev. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Handles the pass. Here's a shot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Colorado's won the faceoff. Snagged with the glove by Kemper. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. Milano's got the puck in his own zone. Forces the turnover. Along the half wall with the puck. Denies him on the slopper. Here's a race for the loose puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Great defensive play to break it up. Milano's lugging the puck. Here's a feed in front. And it caroms off a twig in front of the net. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And let's see what the call is. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. Colorado sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. With a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Melanston stick handling in his own zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Slides the pass over to Nichuskin. Poked away at center by Protus. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. And that's off a stick. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Nachuskin. Sends it out in front, and that goes off a stick. And the puck clears the zone. And that's knocked away. Takes the feet at the back end. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Strom's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Washington's got a hold of the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Takes a shot and makes the save. Clearing attempt. The Avalanche have it now. Knocked away. Gets in front of it. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Shot! And he was ready for that save. Washington's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Rich over the slot. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage that's exactly what they did and they're able to convert the avalanche have to be breathing a little easier now as they get on the board first here in this one that's amazing how mindset can change when you get up by a goal in what's been considered a pretty scrappy back and forth game 
Levels them with the hit. The Capitals are on the attack. Oh, look at the pass. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Johansson's got it deep in the offensive end. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Davis. Oh, they didn't like that hit. Here we go. They didn't like it, James. They didn't like it at all. And now they're standing tall and say, hey, if you're going to have your way with us, you're going to answer for it. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Puck grab by Sandine. Washington's got it in their own zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. From the right side, takes the pass. And that's poked away. Washington's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Poked away in the defensive end. Loses his balance on the play. And he slides it quickly to Taves. Moves the puck into the D zone. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Strom's got it against the boards. Big time stop by Georgiev. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. His reflexes on display tonight. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. More than half the period left to play. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. Washington's won the defensive zone draw. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Pokes it away in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Rantanen. And he slides it quickly to McKinnon. Colorado's on the attack. Denies him with the pad. And that's broken up. Jensen's got it in the defensive end. Washington's moving it along the wing. Quick pass to LaPierre. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Capitals gain control of the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And it's a quick pass to Manson. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Using the net for cover. Unable to reach that one. Washington's moving it up the ice. Big play inside the defensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds the puck to Drouet. Quick feed to Tatar. Off the club and makes the save. Moves it to Drouet. Hammers it from the point. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kemper. More than half the frame has been played here. Colorado's up one zip. Nice job tying up his opponent. Fires it on net. Comes up with the stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Colorado still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Avs win the draw. Moves it quickly over to Colton. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. 
The centermen glide into position. McMichaels won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Works it across to Phillips. Washington's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Georgiev. The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Capitals win the draw. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Tatars across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Oh, what a save in front. Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by Kemper. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Off the draw, they take possession. And he moves it up to Wilson. Here's a race for the loose puck. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. 50-50. McKinnon's unstoppable force zone ability is his strength and balance when skating with the puck. He rarely gives it up when getting jostled by defenders. Ovechkin's teammates love setting him up for a one-time blast. His 1T zone ability really makes him an offensive threat. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Dumps it into the Ozone. Slick feed. Taken by Johansson. The Avs played along the wing. Here's a short pass to Drouet. Kemper's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the back half of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. McKinnon's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Too many bodies in the way. Steps inside the line. Big stop right there. Colorado's looking to break out. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Takes the feed. Washington's got it against the boards. Quick pass to Kuznetsov. And he comes up with a stop there. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Avs have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Kuznetsov's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. And that goes off a player. Carlson's got it in the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Here's a chance! The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. O'Connor's got it along the wing. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Sends the pass over. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Avs have it now. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. I love the 1-3-1 three, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Keeps possession on the play. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Melenston. Washington's gained possession along the boards. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Broken up at center. Strong defensive effort. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get that puck down the ice. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Here's the clearing attempt. And that's off the glass and out. And there's one non-negotiable if you're going to be on a PK, James, and that is you got to get the clear, and this is done perfectly. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Kemper. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck. Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow. Well, 
Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. I love the patience of this power play. It's all about puck movement, and when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front, and that's exactly what happens. Goaltenders scream, and they find the back of the net. The Avs are on cruise control here in period number one, Cheryl. Yeah, they've got a two-goal lead late in this first period. It's exactly the start they wanted to. They've been pressing all game, but they can't get complacent. They've got to continue to push. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Quick feed to Taves. Canes the zone. Puck scooped up by Manta. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Moves it to McMichael. chance like this this is deflating James you don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender that's a huge miss the Capitals will play it in their own end steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing what a stop right there Theravari's time in the penalty box is up and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence he can play physical but he's also got to play with his brain the Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Comes up with a monster save in front. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. And that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Milano. Fires it into the offensive zone. Makar's taking it from his own end. Good use of the body on the play. And that one's turned away. And he loses control of the puck. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Milano. Takes the pass. Huge steal in his own end. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Strom. Gaining momentum up along the side. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. From center, they get into the attacking area. Washington's gained possession. Quick pass across to Ovechkin. He grabs the puck here at the point. Great stop by Georgiev. Now a quick pass to Jensen. Great poke check on the reach. Puck picked up by Jensen. The Capitals carry it along the wall. Puts it on there. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. They've got numbers here. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Kemper. And they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Rontanen's got that zone ability that helps him generate scoring, guys. With more ice available on the power play, let's see if he can get a good look here. The Avs will go to work here in the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Rantanen. Great save by the goaltender on that one. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Here's a shot. Misses the net. Tremendous cycle we're going. Handles it again. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Protus. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. Great reach with the poke check by Byram. Here's a short pass to Nichuskin. Puck grabbed by Rantanen. And that's poked away by Farabari. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Byram stick handling in his own zone. Handles the puck. That sails over the net. Quick shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Here. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. 
Well, this has been a potent power play, and two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure, and the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Well, this goal on the one-timer is another example of how well-rounded these athletes are today. He's not typically known for it, but he's able to let this one rip, and it's a beautiful goal. The Avs already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. McKinnon's won the draw here in the open ice. On the attack along the boards. Turned aside with the glove by Kemper. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Colorado's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. That's intercepted. That's both poor puck and game management, James. When you're up, you want to make sure that you protect the lead. Just a product of trying to do too much there. Sometimes the safe play is the best one. We got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. They'll go back to work for their special teams. And the power play is off. taking breakaway makes the save oh and this is a great save james the goaltender gets to the top of his crease makes himself look huge and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop quick feed to tatar and he shuts the door on that we'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up Protus gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. Trying to clear and manages to clear the zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Colorado's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on net seems to find the back of it, and they lead it late in the first. And he slides it quickly to Ovechkin. Washington's got the puck against the boards. And he makes the save. Poked away in the offensive end. Grabbed along the boards by Wilson. Taves moves the puck. Shot! Good stop by Kemper. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, Colorado's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. Johansson's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Sandin's moving the puck through his own zone. Great forecheck by Johansson. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Moves it to Drouet. With possession along the wall. Picked off by McMichael. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Scooped up along the wall by Drouin. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Moves it quickly over to Phillips. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Tatar's got the puck in his own zone. And there's the whistle icing the call. The Avs have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. 
sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Sends a pass over. Chance in front. Picked off in front. Here's a short pass to Tatar. And he takes a shot. And he comes up with it. Battle along the wall. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Second period set to get underway. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Capitals' performance was abysmal in that opening 20 minutes, James. They didn't do anything right. It looked like a lack of preparation. And often that isn't just the coaches. That's the mindset of the players going in. I'm not sure what it was, but they're going to have to change it in the second period. This one was embarrassing. Big stop by the keeper. Kemper's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. The Avs win the faceoff. Broken up by Wilson. Moves the puck. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Washington's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Avs gain possession along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Tatar. The Capitals grab possession to the puck. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Look at this! Across the line! Smart defensive effort to break up that play. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Johansson's got it across the line. Feeds it down low. Loose puck battle along the boards. Take it along the wall by Manson. From in close. Big time stop. Kemper's in such great position. He's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Wood. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. And the puck's kicked free. Washington's got it in their own zone. The Capitals played along the boards. There's a collision along the boards. And there's a whistle from the officials as the pane of glass is cracked. Ah, remember back in the day, James, the thunderous hit, and all of a sudden the glass would explode or shatter? Well, not anymore, and that's a good thing. So there's not as much cleanup. They just have to replace the pane. The Avs continue to lead big here in this second period. McKinnon's won it off the faceoff. And he takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Johnson. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And not much on that one. Blast from the blue line. What a glove save by Georgiev. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. We're still in the early stages of this period. Colorado's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Branton is called for tripping. He's off to the box. Here's a first look at the power play. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. 
Counters it. And that shot dies in traffic. Shoots it. Oh, what a save. Scores on the main advantage of the one hole. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams. James, you can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Washington's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James, and you have to play physical. Ovechkin's the leader of this team, James. He knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face-off and lead the charge. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. What a steal in his own end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. Net is knocked off. We'll get a face-off here. Colorado's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. And now it's grabbed by McCarr. Drives to the paint. Answers the call. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Just a fabulous goal, Jane, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body, not in the greatest position, but he manages to find the back of the net. Colorado's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here at period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Here he is in close. Great save from in tight. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Picked up along the wall by Byram. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Slides it to Kuznetsov. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Drouin. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Drives it to the crease. for a whistle. Colorado's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. O'Connor's lugging the puck. Poked away at center ice. Into the corner now. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick feed to Byram. Yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying. 
tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. Moves the puck to the attacking area. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Oh, no, there he goes again, James. That's the second time this period, and it's real tough to get into a rhythm on your bench when you consistently take penalties. But this face-off's one, James. They're going to set up in the umbrella. You know that they want to pull the coverage up high, work that puck down low. They'll have someone in front to be able to screen, but they'll also be looking for cross-seam passes to attack the net. Oh, he saved it! Oh, my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And they get it out. Tries to feed it over to Carlson. Looking to make something happen at center. Knocked away by Johnson. Moves it to Phillips. Taken by Carlson. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Olofsson's got the puck. Quick shot. Shuts him down. Moves it quickly over to Byram. And does it again. At the point they set it up. Denied with the glove by Lindgren. Washington's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. The Capitals with a two-man advantage power play coming up. On a five-on-three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. Cut it to the slot. Can't get it to go. Slides the puck over. The Avalanche have possession shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Rips it and rips it. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Nachuskin's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they win the offensive zone face-off. And here we go. Makes the save. Oh, and another big stop. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. And they capitalize on this power play. Here comes the faceoff. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, and it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kept in. That won't keep you on the PK, that's for sure, James. The coach wants that puck out, and it's on your stick. you got to make sure that it goes 200 feet down the ice. Ranton inside of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and it'll allow them to get some fresh legs out there. Well, shift me. Score! And there is a much needed counter punch from the other end. Well, they've closed the gap, but the next shift is the most important, the ability to have energy and try and get that puck and get another one on the board. I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James, as the puck's below the goal line. You can see him moving to make himself available. And right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. Washington's apparently just shown up for this one here, Cheryl. Yeah, they get on the board after being shelled all game. They haven't had many shots on net either, but now they've got to find a way to be aggressive, play physical, and really send a message. The mindset has to change here. Listen, they've got nothing to lose. They might as well go for it and attack. Here's a short pass to Barabari. And he'll lug the puck back inside the defensive zone. 
Washington's looking to break out. Here they come on the attack. The Avs have it from their own end. Grabbed along the boards by Wood. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And he takes the dish. Washington's got a hold of the puck. Now over to Wilson. They put the puck into the offensive end. Scrum along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Drouin. Now he takes it over the line. And the puck skips away after that move. Drouin's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Back to the point it goes. Puts it just wide of the net. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but he's got to hit the net. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Puck scooped up by McCarr. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Capitals gain control of the puck. Long pass into the neutral zone. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Sends it down low. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Bank pass feed. The Avs gain the zone. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Scores! And look who's at it again. Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. James, no matter which way you slice it, it is tough for a backup goaltender to come in. You're cold, you haven't had any movement, and it's evident there with that first goal that gets by him. The Avs look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice, and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. Colorado's got to hold them in against the wall. The Avs have played from the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Manson. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Broken up in the neutral zone by Ferrapari. Quick pass to Milano. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Nachuskin's got it in the defensive end. Colorado's got it along the wall. The Capitals look to start the transition game. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. He's got a step, sends it in front, he scores! What a goal! Oh man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect time, you heard the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. The Avs have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Quick feed to Protus. Denies him! Puck picked up by Protus. Moves it to LaPierre. Stops him with a glove! I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. The Avs continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. Feeds the puck across to McCarr. Receives the pass. And his stick collapses on the play. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nothing! Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there.
And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Quick pass to Wilson. Washington's got the puck along the wall. Grabs it in his own end. Puck grabbed by Tatar. The Capitals ready to go on the attack. Scores! Wow, what a finish on the one-timer! It always amazes me, James, because we know where this puck is going, right in his wheelhouse. Everyone knows where this puck is going, but he still converts on it. Amazing shot. You know, his one-timer is unbelievable when everyone knows exactly where this puck is going and they still can't defend it. I mean, it comes to him, he's set to position, and he just lets it rip and fires it past the goaltender. Washington's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Colorado's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Johansson's won it in their own end. Carries the puck up through center. And now it's grabbed by Drouin. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Drouin's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Moves the puck to Milano. Knocked away with the stick by Jones. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Sends it over to Milano. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Georgiev's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Colorado's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots and they lead it here in the second. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Handles the pass. Gets the puck in deep. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Take it along the wall by Byram. Feeds it on over to Cogliano. Intercepted at center by Mantha. Throws it in. That's moved up ahead. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. That's gloved by Lindgren. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And they win the draw here in their own end. Now a quick pass to Phillips. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Dished on over to Nichuskin. The Avs looking against the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! Lindgren's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Colorado's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Off the face, off they take the puck. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. Moves the puck up to Ovechkin. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Brantonen's picking up steam. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Sends the pass down low. And now he moves it quickly to Colton. Denies him. He got all of it. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Colorado's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Capitals win the defensive zone faceoff. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From the left side, takes it at center. Fires it! Scores! Well, a sign that they have the world over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, and you like his good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit.
confident, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. The Capitals finally get some momentum going their way. Now, can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back-to-back -to -back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat. Nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When a power play is executing and it feels right, everyone is clicking. The chemistry just looks like it's synergized. And this team, they're on fire right now. The Capitals move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Molenston. And that's knocked away. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. The Capitals have it now. And he slides it quickly to Kuznetsov. Handles the puck at the point. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Here's a chance. Misses the net. Moves it to Jensen. Takes it across the blue line. Great reach with the poke check. Feeds it up ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Kivy Ranta has been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hottie. Johansson's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And off the draw, they'll take possession. The Capitals will play it in their own end. And that's knocked away by Wilson. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Georgiev. Hammers a shot, and it gets nowhere near the... Oh, what a chance here! They gain the zone. Here's a pass. Oh, what a save on the play! Moves it quickly over to Carlson. The defenseman will go off as the puck is dumped in. Passes on over. Here we go, two on one. Blocked with a capital B ending that rush. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Capitals are on the attack. Takes the puck. Fantastic save! Georgiev's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in, and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Takes a shot. You'll need more than that to beat him. Melanston's taking it from his own end. Some would say it's not a big deal, as they have a comfortable league, and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different, though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Takes a shot. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Colorado's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Up along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. Wilson stick handling in his own zone. The Capitals are in transition. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Strom's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. An easy save by Lindgren. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Colorado's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. The Avs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, big time save by Lindgren. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here.
Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Slides the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Drouet. And that's blocked in traffic. Sends it in deep. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Drouet. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here's a chance. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Lindgren. Van Riemsdyk's got it in the offensive end. The Avs get a hold of the puck. The Capitals play it along the wing. Through center along the wing. Jumps the puck in. Washington's got the puck along the wall. The Capitals will play it from the defensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. McMichael's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there and as a result he loses it. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Off the goaltender and in. That's a goal. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. The Avs are laying the smack down on the opposition tonight as we near the intermission, but ooh, it can't come soon enough at one end of the ice. Well, yeah, you know that their opponent certainly wants it, uh, an opportunity to reset and catch their breath. But for them, you know that they're going to go to that intermission. Now they're going to sit down, get out of rhythm. They don't want it disrupted. So you know that the leadership group's going to be talking about keeping the pedal to the metal. Nechuskin's going to play it to the corner. Gets it over to Phillips. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Huge steal in his own end. Big hit, and that frees up possession. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Quick feed to Nichuskin. And they keep the pressure on. Washington's got the puck against the half wall. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Solid hit on the play. And look at this, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. There's a shot. That was amazing. What a save by Georgiev. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Capitals once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Nice job tying up his opponent. And somehow he hangs on. The Capitals have it in the offensive zone. Nice poke check. Here's a shot. And he was ready for that one. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Colton's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Woods moving it ahead. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Washington's got it against the boards. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they get the puck out. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Phillips has the puck against the half wall. Oh, can't finish! Well, he can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. Colton's moving the puck through his own zone. The Capitals with time for one last rush. Shot denied by the goaltender. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. 
Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players, ice. I'll be back with a third period next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Colorado's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Gets the puck in deep. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves it to the middle. It's There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. Washington's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Taken by McCarr. The Avs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Angles it over to Nichuskin. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, misses the net. And that was, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. Moves the puck down low. Net knocked off. It's mooring. We'll get a face off. The Avs have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Colorado's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face off. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Picked up along the wall by Tatar. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And he slides it quickly to Ferrari. The Capitals carry it along the wall. Oh, he'll want that one back as he just puts it wide right in the slot. Well, not a lot of time from that area, especially when you're in the middle of the ice, a golden area as we call it. But he's got someone on him, but he gets rid of it quick. Just misses. Colorado's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. Johansson's won it off the faceoff. Grabbed along the boards by Tatar. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Handles the puck from the left side. Can't keep a hold of it. Centering feed. Scores! What a finish on the play! I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Capitals are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And with the two centers tangle up, the winger skates away with it. Lugs the puck back into the neutral zone. Colorado's got possession of the puck. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. 
Wax it into the offensive zone. Tosses it to McMichael. The Capitals take it along the wall. Here's a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Scooped up along the wall by O'Connor. Gaining momentum along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. Works it across to Mantha. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. What a steal in his own end. Woods lugging the puck. Moves it to Colton. And he takes the feed. McCarr has had an impressive night so far. I mean, he's had a multiple point night, creating a ton of offense. And you know that he's not done yet. Quick pass across to Taves. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. McKinnon's been fantastic tonight, James. I mean, he has a goal already and looking to contribute more. Just wide of the net. That's frustrating. You get to the right spot at the right time. You're possessing the puck, and you wind up to let one rip, and your stick snaps in half. What a twig. Go get a new one. The score is in. He gets a hold of his own rebound and makes it count the second time. This is what you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot, and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. The Capitals are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. McKinnon's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Scores! Nathan McKinnon! Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. Colorado's added yet another one here to the total tonight. Uh, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Picked off by Rantanen. McCarr's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Nichuskin. Fires it on net and makes the save. Slip feed. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Great heads up play with the stick by Carlson. Quick pass to McCarr. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop. attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Oh, and he makes the save. Just got enough to keep it out. Take it along the wall by Johansson. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. There's no way that the goaltender saw this pop. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over. You can see him trying to track Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. Colorado's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. Colorado's looking to break out. Passes it to Johansson. Moves it around along the half wall. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. Kuznetsov's got it in the corner. 
And it's a quick pass to Jensen. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. This one stoles him in front. Georgiev's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Manson. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Colorado's been all over their opponent tonight. They've been dominating in all areas of the game, in particular possession in the offensive zone. This one goes right off of the post. Otherwise, they would have had an even bigger lead in this one. The Avs are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. Colorado's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Lays out with a block. Now can he get up? Oh, quick feed to Kuznetsov. The Capitals cross the line and gain the zone. Puck scooped up by Kivaranta. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Cogliano. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And now he tries to get it across to Mantha. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. And now he angles it across to O'Connor. Puts it on net. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And there's the save. Moves it quickly over to McMichael. Pokes the puck away. The Capitals gain possession along the wall. Oh, what a stop by Georgiev. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Colorado's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. McMichaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Here's a short pass to Van Riemsdyk. Just wide. When you're the guy that's getting the opportunities, you got to find a way to work the magic, especially when you're trailing in a game. And he's had this puck on his stick all night long. He's got to find a way to hit the net. Takes the feed. Shot with the stop. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by McMichael. Slides it over with pace to McKinnon. Now a quick pass to Nichuskin. All alone. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at and he wins it. Colorado's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Stroms won the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it on over to Carlson. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Ovechkin's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game! Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Takes the feed. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. This is a primetime example of why you work on face-offs so often in practice, because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. 
Washington's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Sends it in on the attack. Scrum along the wall. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. From the open ice, they gain the line. Centering feed. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Colorado's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Kuznetsov's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Avs have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Washington's won the faceoff. Blocked in traffic. Moves with the puck at the corner. Nice save from point blank range. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Centering pass! Another pass! And that's stopped! And he's knocked off the puck there. Oh, wow! Stops again! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they work on this in practice, and you can certainly see how power play is about repetition. It is about execution and precision, and man, are they on tonight. Washington's got a hold of the puck. With possession along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Protus. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Quick pass to Johansson. Big save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Johansson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Makes it look easy with the stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Kuznetsov's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Avs gain possession. Makar's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Wilson. The Capitals are across the line and into the offensive end. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Colorado's in transition. Moves it to McKinnon. Oh, what a stop by Lindgren. And the puck's knocked loose. Colorado's got the puck. Lindgren's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Colton's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Colorado's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Game management is everything, and you have to be aware of exactly what that is. And you can't take risks in a game where you're leading. You have to find a way to protect the lead. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James, and the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. Picked up along the boards by Farafari. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. And that goes off a player in front. Steps into it, comes up with the stop. The Avs gain control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Farafari. Quick feed down low. 
Here's a short pass to Barry Murray. He scores! What is that? Patrick and Lennon Ray Shabos! Yeah, Ray Shabos is right there. That's all over the ice. They're going to have to collect them all. This is going to take some time, but man, has he ever had an effective night. He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Capitals don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Puck dumped in. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Picks up the puck in his own end. Grabbed along the boards by McCarr. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Here's a shot! Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? McKinnon's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. The Capitals start with the puck in their own end. Washington's crossed the line and on the attack. Save made with the pad. Feeds the puck to McCarr. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puts it off the post. Takes the feed at the point. And that's a smart heads up play by Ovechkin. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to McKinnon. Colorado's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there are a reason they're in the lead. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here's a shot. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Lindgren. Takes a shot. And there's the save. Makes his presence known on the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Pushes it across to Ovechkin. Now he takes it over the line. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Sends the pass over. Drew had a great game offensively, James. He's been all over the ice, really buzzing around. A reason why he's got three points. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Colorado's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And they win the draw on their own end. Takes the pass. The Avs pick up steam and are on the attack. The Capitals will play it in their own end. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Manson's taking it from his own end. Here's a chance to his teammate. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Handles the puck. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Byram. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot, just wide. Moves it to the middle, and that's blocked in front. Protus works the puck in his own zone. They gain the zone from the left side. Puck picked up by Malenston. And will pull on as that goes off the outside of the post. Washington's game has been pretty good tonight, James, in particular in the offensive zone where they're generating a ton of offensive opportunities. But they have to find a way to put it in the back of the net and not off the post, especially when you're trailing. Team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. 
Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. Shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Washington's got the puck in the defensive end. Fires it! Makes the save and put it out the fire in front. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. The Capitals have it now. Quick pass to Carlson. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. And the officials will pass the sentence here. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. And he slides it quickly to Kuznetsov. Beautiful read in the defensive end by McKinnon. Gaining momentum up along the side. Great read to break up the play. But you play the game differently depending on the situation. And when you're up, you got to know it. And you got to game manage and you got to puck manage. That turnover, coach isn't going to like that one at all. Great heads up play by the defender. Takes a shot. Oh, another quick stop. Kuznetsov's gaining momentum. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. And he slides it quickly to Manson. Gaining steam here on the attack. Oh, what a save in front. And that's taken by the defense. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Scooped up along the wall by Cogliano. And they clear that puck. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Passes over to Strom. The Capitals move to the offensive zone. Here's a pass down low. The Avalanche have gained possession under man. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Taken along the wall by Strom. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it quickly to Strom. Rantanen standing up, ready to go. The Capitals fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. Scoops up the puck. Passes to the slot. Driving to the net. Big time stop right there. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And now he moves it to Kuznetsov. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Kuznetsov's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. The Avs have traded tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. Colorado's won the draw. And that's a great heads-up play by Wilson. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Johnson's got the puck along the wing. Makes a save. Coughs it up on the play. The Capitals move the puck in the defensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Phillips. The Avalanche have gained possession. Moves the puck over to Colton. Jones looks around. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Stopped by Lindgren. 
Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Here's a chance! Oh, wow, what a pad save by Georgiev. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Lindgren. Colorado's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Quick feed to Makar. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides the puck across to Molenston. And just hitting the final minute now in regulation of this blowout. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Off a stick and they can't connect. From behind the net. Moves it to Van Riemsdyk. Let's it go. Stops him cold. Battling for it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Curtis. The Capitals gain possession. Here's a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Colorado's effort at all ends of the ice, really, really impressive here this evening. Yeah, it was a collective effort, in particular their shot total. They just peppered the tender and drove the net. They tried to get to the paint, and that's something that really paid off. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.